Voters from the 42nd Assembly District now know who the candidates vying for that open seat will be following a primary election yesterday. The district covers most of Columbia County and parts of Dane, Sauk, and Dodge counties. Rose Schmidt introduces us to the candidates from Lodi. The Republican and the Democratic candidate both live here in Lodi. In this town of about 3,000 people is the community they say they're committed to serving. Walk downtown and you'll find signs outside John Plummer's karate studio. To me, this is a small town race. Uh, I'm all about knocking on doors and, and shaking hands with the voters. This is his 10th year living in Lodi. And being a town board member, Plummer wants to make sure he's listening to the people around him. I'd love to shake every hand in the 42nd. I'm, that's my goal. And recognizing the issues they care about most. Certainly it's roads, it's property taxes, they're concerned they want to be able to stay in their homes and keep their overhead down, but you know, clearly we've got some work to do on our roads and that's, I would say that's the number one issue that I'm hearing. Across town, his Democratic opponent, Ann Groves Lloyd, has served on city council and worked at UW-Madison for the last 30 years. I got my education in Lodi Public Schools, I had a great education, um, wanting to preserve that and make sure our children and grandchildren also have access to excellent public education. Education. She wants to get people in better paying jobs. And after she was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, she wanted to make sure that health care becomes a priority at the state capitol. And I know what it's like to be facing uncovered medical bills and uh, too many people are having to make really difficult choices about health care or perhaps putting food on the table. Growing up on her family's farm and living in Lodi her whole life, she agrees connecting with the 42nd Assembly District is part of the conversation. If you want to know Anne, that's her in that commercial that really represents who I am and um, I like to approach life with a lot of passion and a sense of humor and um, and commitment to the issues, the work that we need to do. And the 42nd is, I think we're custom made for each other because it's it's made up of small towns, which is we're small town people. So um, to me, it was a perfect fit. Voters from this area will have the chance to head to the polls on June 12th to vote for their next representative. In Lodi, I'm Rose Schmidt for WISC News 3. And this is one of two special elections that will be held in June in Wisconsin after Governor Walker called them back in March. The world's